I wonder if we could uh, explore something a little bit because um, I had quite a few openings like the last couple of weeks that you know about and uh, and then the last few days it was like a contraction again but it seemed very natural that something would contract in that kind of field of openness, like a reflex. And um, so I can feel inside me this sadness. Sometimes it, um, quite often it kind of comes out as anger, and that used to be towards other people, and now it's mostly just towards myself. to be included in this beauty. And as we experience these openings, it's like we deepen in presence and we're able to access these deeper and deeper core layers of unprocessed emotions. Most of it we can trace back to our childhood. So it's totally innocent. And our system is remembering how to open to feel these emotions which often can be overwhelming or intense. So we just go very, very slowly with it and very gently. Can you feel it now? Just have a look and see kind of what flavour of emotion is present now. There's no right or wrong answer, we're just exploring. moment I feel calm and it's more like a kind of volatility that um, to the body, can you feel 
where that contraction is held in the body. So just very, very gently allow your attention to drop into the throat area. That's it. Just open up to feeling those sensations. And whatever wants to come up is very welcome. Nothing wrong with any of it. That's it. Just letting go and allowing this energy to be felt. And your system is so intelligent. It knows exactly what to do with it. If it wants to express physically, just let me know. We can bring a cushion to punch. You can shout at me, I don't mind. Just tune in and see how your system wants to process this energy. That's it. That's it. The monkeys are jumping on the way. I feel very ashamed to let it out, to be honest. Oh, beautiful, really beautiful. Yeah, it's totally understandable as well. Because when we were vulnerable as children and expressed sadness and anger, most of the time we were rejected. It was an embrace and unconditional love, so I learned that there's something wrong with it. And it's so beautiful how you're meeting this with such tenderness. Yeah. Just allowing that shame to be here as well. It's really nice to give a voice to all these energies and let them all be seen in this, in this love. None of it means anything about you.
And it's like it's kind of tensed up again. Like it came and then it's... Is it still in the same place or did it uh, still here? Okay. So just very gently, very slowly, going closer to that contraction. See if you can go right into the center of it. That's it. And just feel it. That's it. Yeah, it's beautiful. So beautiful. Do you want a cushion to punch? <laughs> you want to try it? <laughs> Can you bring some cushion? <laughs> Maybe one of those big ones. Go for it. Go for it. Actually, I did this recently with someone and I said, go for it, it's fine. And then they clenched real hard and I almost fell over. So <laughs> I think we're okay. We'll see how it goes.
I have this really strong feeling like he wants to just come home like the same that I'm looking for. You know, the same thing I want he wants. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That's all these energies want. They're in a contracted state. And it wants to be felt so that it can be processed and open up and release and become one with the openness. This, this is what surrender is, to have the willingness to allow all of these energies, allow it all to be felt. Like here, across my hips, tight, good. Mm. Just doing the same thing. No. Allow your attention to drop into the hips and open up to feeling it there. That's it. That's it. Yeah, go on. Oh my God. You're doing really great. You're doing really great. Surrender it all to God. The 
This is true strength. This is true courage. And this is the embodiment of the divine masculine. Express and feel with presence. That's the opposite of what most little boys are taught. Not to be a man, not to show it all down, be tough, don't be a wimp. It's a distortion. This is this is a divine masculine to open, to surrender, to have this courage, to allow it all, to deeply feel it all with this sensitive, tender, beautiful heart. And what's taking place here is not just healing and transformation at the deepest core of your being, but this is breaking the cycle of generations of distortions and forms. It's not just healing happening in the present, this is healing in the past and also for future generations. I will benefit from this. And this, this is what millions of men are carrying around inside of them, this burden. Yeah. So this is a, an inspiration. To see this expression of the new divine masculine living in truth, walking in truth. Surrendering your whole life to truth. It's not all about these moments of bliss and openness, it's about meeting everything with this courage of heart and this unconditional love.
like some tension and that's moved and but something else says like that's enough but I don't know if that's a true voice or not and whether that's resistance or whether that's just naturally my sense is that it's enough for today and when you sit down, you can continue the process alone and just doing the same thing. And if another wave comes up, feel free to punch. <laughs> we don't mind. You can come back in the chair if, if you feel you want to. All right? Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Mm.